for absolutely months and months and months. I've done a couple of coaching sessions here, but certainly not in a match situation. I've seen some of the results, and there have been some fish caught in this area in the 40s. And I've spoke to a couple of lads what I've been coming, and they say, you know, it's a, it's a good draw today. So hopefully there's going to be some fish here. It is a league match, okay? So it's not like a regular open match where we're just fishing for a, as a one-off. I am obviously fishing it as a league match. Uh, hopefully the league will continue but it's all about points, it's all about section points and that's the main aim of today. I haven't seen the way board yet, but that's because of the way that we drew. Um, so I'm not sure who's in my section. Um, and I just thought I'd take this opportunity to just quickly show you some of the kit that I've got set up. Um, it's gonna be a three rod approach. I'm just gonna do exactly what I did last year. It's the only thing I can do. I mean, that's you know what I know about the venue from how it fished this time last year. Um, so the mixers and baits that I've got with me are all the same as last year. I've got three rods set up. I've got the 3.3 meter um, XS Slim, and I'm going to be fishing that. I haven't really decided on the lines just yet. They're probably going to be about 15, 30, and 45 meters. I think that's going to be the split. So three different lines. Um, so I've got the 3.3 meter set up for the shorter line. I've got another 3.3 meter XS Slim set up, and that's going to fish the middle line. And then for the long line, um, I'm using the XC class, which is the 3.6 metre version. And that's rated at 60 gram, which means it's ideal for this, because on that line, usually you, you only need about a 40, um, a 40 gram feeder, sometimes a 30 if the conditions allow. And that's it, it's going to be a three pronged approach. I've got them kitted with Horizon reels. Um, on the shorter rods, I've got the 3000 Horizon, and on the longer one, I've got the 5000 Horizon. That's going to be the same for every match. So assuming you're going to watch the rest of the videos, I won't go over that again, but that's the kit that I'm going to be using for the whole series. Bait tray is very similar to, well, it's the same as last year, virtually. Nice and super simple. I've gone with the same mix as last year, which is a 50-50 combination of Ringer's Dark and Ringer's Natural. I've no reason to change it. It worked brilliantly last year. Uh, and I haven't heard anything different since then, so that's why I've gone with that mix. Um, I've got some worms, as you can imagine, we are targeting bream and skimmers. So I've got some worms, I've got some fluoro pinkies, and I've got some dead reds. Um, just a little selection of feeders, and they're obviously worm scissors for cutting the worms. I've no idea if they're going to want worm today, it's very much a trial and error kind of bait. But I've got them with me to try, if I'm not catching I can put some in. And obviously if they want some, I've got half a kilo, which is plenty to keep feeding them. And that's really it. I'm going to set my lines up at the start and just kick off like I did last year. Um, and then just keep my eyes open as to what's happening around us. The great thing with Southfield, you can see right down either side of you. So you've got a good idea of what's happening around you. There is a bit of wind today, so I apologise if that's um, affecting the microphone. But I'll do my best to film it for you. All we need now is a few fish. Well, we are one hour in, and I haven't had a sign yet, not an indication. Um, two to my left, two anglers to my left has got one fish. Three anglers to my left, he's got two fish, but he's not in our section. So there's one fish caught, two to my left, and the other my right. He's just had one as well, and that's it. That's all the fish that we've seen. Looks like all the fish that have been caught so far have been long. I'm still out long on that line. I'm just going to have a look on my middle line in a minute just to see if I can nick a fish but just to rest this longer line I'll just give it about 10 minutes 
and then I'll go back on this long line if I don't catch it and uh, hopefully that rest might, might just trigger a bite. <laughs> two hours in I've got a fish I've had one bite and uh, it's one bream it's a good sized bream as well um, that came from the long line on nine minutes a nine minute cast just out of the blue um, really typical Southfield bite just nearly pulled the rod in straight out of the blue um, a lot of my right has now got two so he's winning this section so in this section he's winning it with two fish I've got one fish and then the lad that's two to my left he's got one fish and that's it nobody else has caught yet um, quite a few people are struggling even over in the woods we've heard a lot on peg one has not had a sign yet and, and we've heard stories from all over but generally it's fishing it's fishing hard so typical south field every bite counts I'm still out on my long line um, and what I'm going to do I'm going to give this about two more casts I think and then I'm going to go onto that middle line again just to try and look. obviously it'd be nice to catch a fish on that line but I haven't seen anyone catch there yet but obviously that will mean I can rest my long line and I think that's what it's going to be just rotating lines and just trying to pick up anything that you can get from whatever line it might be on but it's going alright at the minute well there's two hours left that wind's got a little bit stronger it still offers bags see but it is it's very cold wind clear blue skies now the sun's out it's not ideal bream conditions certainly on a venue that's um, so shallow and it's very much um, stalemate everything's exactly the same as it was last time I checked in with you there haven't been any more fish caught and from what we hear they're not really catching fish anywhere there's possibly a couple of pockets of fish where somebody might have three or four fish maybe five I don't know but We've heard that there are, you know, um, one or two people that on prob possibly three fish. But that's it, because obviously under the con conditions, there aren't people walking about on the bank like they normally are, so it's hard to know what has actually been caught. So all I can do is just focus on this section. So two fish are still winning the section. It's two hours to go, just rotating lines. I haven't been on the really short line yet. Just rotating hook baits, rotating um, feeders, style and size of feeders. Just trying to trigger a bite, but there's no indications whatsoever. Well, the lads that have caught to my left have literally gone about an hour and a half without anything. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, one of them's picked up and hooked a bream. And then the lad next to him, while he's playing that, he's hooked one as well. It's unreal on this venue how you know sometimes it seems as though the fish are swimming together. You know, you could go hours without a bite and then all of a sudden two anglers next to each other will be will get two in two casts all at the same time. Speaking to you. The lad on my right has just hooked another one. That will be his third fish. Just sitting and waiting for bites on that long line. It's another good fish. I still haven't, I haven't had a sign on my middle line I haven't tried the really short line yet but I've not had a sign on that middle line but obviously I keep doing it just to rest this long line but at the minute it looks like it's just not it's just not working that way it looks like you've just got to pick your line long and just have loads of patience and just sit and wait for a visit so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next 30 minutes or so No 
idea if this was, this is coincidence, but that bottom every time I've brought that feeder back in off that 55 meter line, it's just been it's just really the last time I reeled in, I, I come in with a, a bit of a tree. It was all it was wood what had been in there for years and years. So. I, I don't know if there's some snag there, it looks like there's something there and there's tattle around it, line and stuff. I wish I'd known about that earlier, but I don't really cast a bomb out here and never cast around with a bomb suit at the bottom fly because I don't like to disturb the water before I start fishing here. So I've just gone, I went about two metres to the right of it and I still picked up some rubbish. And it's been on my mind ever since that my rig is just not laying right. You know, the bottom's not right there on that spot that I've selected to fish. So I've just taken three metres off. So I'm now at 58 metres. And that's only been in eight minutes. And I've just got to breathe. Now, whether that's coincidence, whether it's the fact that I've just moved to some clear water, I don't know. Or whether it is just because the bottom is all better there and, and the fish can get in the bait properly, I don't know. But there's one hour left, so hopefully I might be able to snare one or two more fish. Three fish is still best in this section. saying about fish swimming together I've just gone out onto that that new line and I've just had another fish second cast unbelievable he's just had his first bite that's his first bite so we both literally just hooked one at the same time they're obviously swimming together so I'm now equal on the section with three fish now three good fish there's 35 minutes left so hopefully I'm gonna get another visit and there we go, he's just put that fish in the net, it's cast back out, and his tip's gone straight round again. All good fish aren't they? And then the very next cast, he's gone straight round again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Done, mate. And again. <laughs> you could have had a line this morning and just turned up about two o'clock. Well, that has been a very, very typical Southfield match. Um, I've ended up with three fish. I was sure I was going to get another visit. And with 10 minutes to go, I've reeled in and the bait was absolutely flattened and I hadn't seen a single indication. So with 10 minutes to go, I've gone back out again on that line. I thought I might have nicked one, but I haven't, I haven't had another sign. So but that's what it is. I've ended up with three fish, three good fish. Um, I'm just going to get some kit packed away now um, and wait for the scales to come down. So I'm going to get some kit packed away. I need to let you know that obviously this series isn't going to continue um, for this year. However, I'm going to continue uploading videos right here on this channel from wherever on the bank I can get. And certainly from the Tattle Room, I've got the bait series to continue as well, which will be starting to be rolled out this week. So um, if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, we're all going to need as much entertainment as we can get and if you want your fishing, fishing fix then just hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those videos. I'm also going to be doing some live sessions as well from the Tattle Room, ad hoc ones. So if you subscribe and hit notifications then you won't miss any of those videos. So that's it, I'm going to get some kit packed away. The sun is still shining. It's been nice to be here, it's been great to be out and um, yeah we're just going to wait for the scales to come down now it'll be interesting to see what my three fish weigh and how the rest of the lads in the section have gone on. <laughs> Whoa! 
Well, my three bream have weighed 10 pounds eight. I didn't think they weigh as much as that. I know one of the bream was quite big. It, you know, anywhere else you probably would have said it was a five pounder, but I know that the bream here at this time of year are not very thick. They don't weigh as much. So 10 pound eight, surprisingly has gone and won the section, which I'm really, really pleased about. Um, it's just been a case of being patient. Um, just have confidence in what you're doing and just seeing what's happening around you. It was quite evident that um, the, the only fish being caught were long and I've since found out that the lads either side of me have fished quite a lot further out than I have. I could see that they were, but I've just asked them now, I've just asked them now um, what ranges they've fished and they've fished a lot further out than I have. But thankfully that's not cost me anything as regards the section. So I've won the section, 50 quid or whatever it is. Um, sadly, the league isn't going to continue, but that's out of our hands now. You know, we've just got to forget about that. So we'll get a refund on the um, on the actual entry money that we've paid. So it's been all right. I've enjoyed it. The sun's been shining all day. It's nice to get a bit of a result as well. The woods has fished well. So um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed just this bit of an insight into what could possibly be one of the last matches uh, certainly for the next few months here at Southfield Reservoir so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos just hit subscribe just there and if you want to see more coaching tuition style videos then have a look at my other channel Patreon TV at the link just there where you can get extra videos each month so I'm heading home now I'm gonna go and check on dad make sure he's okay get some food and look forward to a nice evening in front of the TV so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.